Hey guys, what's up? Garage King here, Mercedes-Benz C300, and we are going to do the full brake job. Uh, well, I shouldn't say full brake job. We're just gonna do pads on the front and the rear. I'll split it into two videos, and you guys can click on whichever one you are interested in. Front tire is off. There is our pads. Let's go to the back. Uh, let's get some more light here. Okay, folks, so we're at the back of the caliper for the front brakes and we are going to uh, take them apart. Now, you can see here, we have an electrical sensor right there, I'm pushing it, and this is the actual sensor that triggers a brake light uh, when it starts hitting the rotor. So, uh, I don't know if it's the front or the rear that are actually uh, hitting, but they both are in need of replacement, so we're just gonna go ahead and do them. Like I said, it'll be split into two videos. So if you're interested in the front, watch the ones on the front. If you're interested in the rear, watch the ones in the rear. Uh, if you like my videos, I'd appreciate if you uh, subscribe. I uh, put a lot of effort into them and I do answer all my questions. So let's get going. Now to uh, undo the brake sensor here, the electronic brake sensor, we can either uh, detach it here uh, and that'll give us a little more room, but you, we usually can uh, slip right in there like a little screwdriver and we should be able to just pull it apart. There we go. You can see I lifted up that little clip there and we should be able to just pull this out. There we go. Just like so. So our sensor is out. Next on the docket uh, is the caliper bolts. We have a 13 mil at the bottom and there is a 13 mil. I'll pan right up a little bit at the top. There we go. I got them both in the shot for you. So let's undo those. We can undo those by hand. They're not that tight. There we go. And you can actually see the bottom turning right here. I know we're right at the screen, but I would like to keep both, um, uh, both in shot here. So you can see they're turning. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to get another wrench just to hold this piece from turning. Let's see if the front ones are gonna do the same thing. And there we go, front ones are turning as well. And you can see, there you go, uh, turning as well. Actually, there we go, I'm able to get them free. There's a top bolt, pretty much free. I'm gonna leave it in, thread it in just a little bit. I'm not gonna take it right out, uh, cause I'm gonna do the bottom bolt. So I'm gonna get a little wrench or something to hold onto this bottom here. Let's pan down and get a better look. Okay, so I went and got myself a thin wrench, so I'm able to uh, get my wrench in there. You can see I'm turning the whole thing. So this will just hold it uh, That outside nut from from turning. So now I can put my ratchet back on and just hold it from turning just like so There we go There it's loose enough now. I should be able to just Take it out by hand There we go Let's take the other one out up top now. We should be able to just pull this caliper off just like so. Now we want to be careful when we're pulling it off, not to uh, uh, overstretch any wires or anything like that. So we're going to be very gentle when we're taking it off, just to make sure that we're okay. And there it's off. And actually, if you can see in the back here, here's the electric wire, it goes right here uh, into this uh, sort of plastic guide, if you will. And there is the brake line. Uh, nice and clean in there, so that looks great. So I don't want to move this actually too far. So I'm just going to put it right here for a second and I'm going to go get uh, a rubber band and I'm going to hold it because I really don't want to move this caliper too far. Okay, and as you can see, I have it hanging. Uh, just from there, I have a nylon stretchy rope. It's nice and tight. So uh, there's like no pressure on the caliper. So that's great. So now what I can do is I can pull out the pins, lubricate them, and then we're going to change the pads. Now on these vehicles, when you're changing the pads, it is quite important because the inboard pad is different from the outboard pad, you should know that. So here's what the inboard pad looks like and you can see it's got this mark. Uh, these are good quality German pads and here is the outboard pad. So you can see they are in fact different and this is a little hint, what this does is this lets you know this is where the piston should be riding on, uh, the round piston. So that's uh, in the instructions, this was the inboard pad. If we look at the sensor here we can we're going to see, we're going to take these pads out and we should see they're probably pretty close to, 
touching. So here's one we're gonna pull out. So here's uh, here's one we pulled out. They actually have uh, some left on them, but I guess uh, not enough. If they're triggering the sensor, we can see the sensors right there, and it's very close to rubbing. Let's take a look when we pull it out, and we can see it's actually quite quite close to rubbing. So we don't have too much left. Customer wanted uh, them done, so let's just go ahead and do them. The other thing to keep uh, in note is this is one side. So the other side may be worn a little bit more. So as we can see, the rotors actually look pretty good. It's always a good idea to replace the sensor wire. Even if it hasn't uh, touched on this side, it hasn't touched yet, but it's come close. So what we want to do is just replace it anyway, because sometimes they can crack, they can cause problems. So for the cost of them, it's best just to put it in. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull out our pin. We can see it came out uh, pretty nice. So we're just going to give a wipe off and we're just going to re-lubricate it. That's what we want to do. And here I just have some synthetic grease, uh, special brake grease is what this is. So I'm just gonna put this on our pin so it's greased up. And there we go. And we do the same to the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is just give the caliper here, the caliper bracket, uh, a little cleaning. You can even shoot it with some brake clean. I'll probably do the same in a minute just to make sure it's all nice and clean before we put the new pads in. Okay, we're now going to push our caliper piston back in. So even if we hold it just like this, I wanna make sure I don't drop it because my cord just came undone. So I got it fully supported with my hand. I have my spreader tool, I can Fit this in here. I'm just going to open it up a little bit by hand first, just like so. And we want to make sure we're going the right way. And there we go. Let's give you a better angle what I'm actually doing so you can see. My tool fell, but that's okay. The piston's back in right where it should be and it's nice and clean. Let's clip this back up here so we can hang it. There we go. And now it's just resting just like so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do to uh, just clean them up a little bit is I'm just, I just got some brake cleaner and I'm just gonna give them a little spray, make sure that everything's nice and clean where it should be. Uh, the nice thing I notice about a lot of these German vehicles, I just find they don't rust up as much as uh, the Japanese ones do. So uh, I don't know if they use better steel or what, or maybe owners take care of them better, but I just find these German vehicles, uh, you just don't see them all getting all rusted and corroded. Uh, you can even see this one came, came apart pretty nicely. So I'm just giving it a little spray off, making sure it's nice and clean. Just like so. And I'll do the same for the bottom as well. As this is just a pad change, we don't have to take off these caliper brackets. I mean, if they were really rusted up in here, what I'd undo is the rear bolts here, down in here, and I would take off the bracket and then just take a wire wheel or a good brush and clean them out, but they're actually not bad at all and there's not a lot of buildup. More or less anything, it's just uh, mainly brake dust. That's, uh, that's all I'm pretty much cleaning out. There doesn't even seem to be much in the way of uh, rust, so they're in really good shape. Now I'm just comparing the new pads to the old pads. You can see how thick they are, and you can see where that sensor goes through the hole. Um, this one was almost, uh, I mean, he would have had a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. So it's best just to do them, and I have a feeling once we take off the rears, you'll see the rears will be even uh, more worn, but we gotta put a new sensor in there now. So I'm trying to get this uh, good angle for you, just like so. There we go, and it just snapped in, just like that. I put it in by hand, no special tools needed. So that's all there is to, uh, to putting the new sensor in. So not much to it, uh, nice and easy. So now we're gonna put uh, the brake pads in. What I usually do is I just put a little dab of anti-seize, really not much, just where the contact area is, just so they can uh, slide a little bit easier. It also helps with installation. Now this one again, remember, it's got the center cut out here, that circle part here. So this one is the inner pad. So just so we don't uh, 
just so we don't confuse them. And there we have uh, the inner pad in, and let's pan back a bit, and we're going to put the outer pad in. Okay, so I'm gonna put the outer pad in, right in here, like so. Sometimes you gotta give it a little push, just to collapse uh, these things right in here. And we can see right here, so you can see that those, those are what I was talking about collapsing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push in, and it'll collapse a bit, just like so. There we go. And we're gonna do the same for the bottom. There we go. So let's pan back out and we can see there's our new pads. So new pads are installed. So that is awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the caliper back. We wanna make sure that our wire is fed back into this guide here. And then uh, we'll fish our new connector through. So here we're gonna take out that, what I was using to hang it on. The wire will go through here. And now we can see what we have to do is we have to find the wire. We can see it's right there. We just have to fish it through. So we just, with our hand, we're just gonna go like this. And there we're gonna go. We're gonna fish it through just like that. There, perfect. So we're through. Now what we should do is put the bolts back on the caliper. Get our bolts back on, just like so. And now this electrical wire in the back, I'm just gonna go with my hand and fish it back in, and then we're gonna plug this in in a second. Okay, so now we're just gonna tighten everything back up. So we got our 13 mil ratchet here, just like so, and pan down. There you go, see the bottom? And we can see the bottom spinning, just like so again. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our little wrench, we're just gonna hold it just like so. Put our ratchet back on, and there we go. So we're all done there. Now what we're going to do is just take our clip, and we're gonna feed it in there, like so, and we're gonna plug it back in. And there we go, should be in. Now just to make sure it's seated, push it in like this so, and we can even try to pull it out and see what happens. And I can see, nope, it's hanging up because I would have to pull this steel um, spring up. So I know that it is fully seated, it is in there, and our pads are replaced. Okay folks, so what did I use to do the front brakes on the Mercedes? Well, all I used is a 13 mil ratchet, that's all I used, and then uh, my brake pad uh, spreader tool. I used a slim 17 mil, and that was to hold it from turning. And then just some clips to get uh, the wire out and then something to hold up the caliper. So really that's all I use. Uh, obviously I use a socket to take off the wheel. So you'll know whatever type of wheels you need to take off. Uh, but other than that, that's all it. So really not, uh, not a lot of tools. If you've enjoyed my videos, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe. I answer all my questions. Please let me know. Comments will be answered below.